Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week I've been talking about the vision that Christ has for heaven on earth, for this, this kingdom come, for the world to be a, a place of righteousness and justice. And I'm doing so through one of my very favorite passages of scripture, the Lord's Prayer. I've, I've done several devotions on this, I think, because it has filled with so much, so much depth and so much of what Christ wanted us to be and desires for us to be today. So one of the things that I've said is that, that heaven would be where all have enough, where all are free, where all are led by love. Today I want to talk about it being also a place where all belong. In Jesus' prayer, he says, deliver us from evil. And some translations will even go further. They'll say, deliver us from the evil one, as if we are somehow been kidnapped and, and are held hostage by Satan or evil or, or the system that we live in is systematically ruling us and controlling us. I, I read some really good books recently about the fact that we live in a system that promotes classism and racism and all kinds of other things. The system itself is inherently producing evil simply by being about power and being about exclusion. So what does it look like when we're delivered from evil? I imagine in my mind that the being delivered from evil means that the kingdom of God is a place where everyone belongs, where everyone can be changed, where everyone can receive grace and forgiveness, enough freedom, love. I had the hardest time reading a book, If Grace is True, because a part of what the author challenged me on, what was challenged, can God work through anyone? Can, can God's love be expressed? Can God's forgiveness, can God's path be offered to anyone? And, and he went down lists of people and lists. And at first it was, yes, yes, I, I truly think that person. And, and I started realizing what I was doing was exactly what the author was setting up me to do. He was setting me up for a trap because he put me in the mindset of me sitting in the seat of judgment. Oh, that person deserves God's grace. That person deserves God's grace. And eventually I did get to somebody who said, mm, mm, uh, really, a, a child molester? Mm, uh, really, a, a rapist? Mm, Hitler, Osama bin Laden? God loves these people? Jesus challenges us to imagine a world where all can be delivered. The kingdom come is a place where all can receive and belong. When we start sitting in the chair of judgment, when we start excluding because we think that we know better than God, well, I seem to think that there's some other folks in Scripture that have done that and it didn't work out so well. You and I, we need to take time every now and then to just sit and reflect and say, God, I know that I've been keeping people from being able to receive grace from you. I know that I have been standing in the way of people experiencing freedom in their true selves. Deliver me from evil so that I can help create a kingdom, a kingdom come, a family here on earth where all belong, where all are received, welcomed, included. It's a transformational message that Jesus preaches, teaches, and offers us in the Lord's Prayer so that we can be not just together, but better.